So you might be thinking that you're gambling with your investments lately, right? But if you haven't looked at it, stocks are off to a solid start this year after record losses for 2018. But will the gains in January so far lead to a strong performance for the year? Something known as the January effect. Let's bring in Jeremy Bryan, portfolio manager at Gradient Investments. That was always the thinking, you know, that the January effect would lead to. Uh, that's how the market would play out for the year. Is that even relevant anymore, the January effect? Yeah, we don't tend to put a lot of stock in seasonal trends in the stock market, whether that's the January effect or sell in May and go away and those types of things. We tend to be a gradient much more focused on what the fundamentals are saying and what the company outlooks for the rest of the year look like. That usually sets the tone for the remainder of the year is what are they guiding for 2019? Uh, what do they see out there in the marketplace and in, in the economy? All right, so I'd be happy to never use any of those cheesy statements ever again in my business news career, which is almost at 20 years now, to be clear, especially the Santa Claus rally. But let's talk about some of these stocks that have been recovering. Look at Netflix. Netflix just on Friday gained like 20%. You've had NVIDIA. A lot of technology names are coming back into favor. Uh, you've had even Twitter, even Amazon. I mean, these are massive jumps in stocks that were so beaten down. Uh, you know, and, and then, of course, if you're trying to maybe pick back some names up, you have to ask yourself if now the right time. There's, there is a lot of unknowns for the market. Absolutely. We're dealing with a lot of uncertainty. We'll know a little bit more in the next couple of weeks as we start to get company earnings reports. But you were, you were absolutely right before is that we had such an oversold condition in December that a lot of this rebound in January is just uh, rehashing that and coming back from those levels. You know, we looked at we were looking at January 2018's performance for the S&P 500. You know, again, talking about the January effect and the index had gained 5.6 percent, but again, down uh, you know, about 7 percent for the year. You have to wonder if the market has hit capitulation. You know, that's, I think that's always the question for the average investor. Is this the time where, like, I'm not going to see any more pain in my, my investments? Um, are we ready to kind of declare that yet or no? Uh, we're certainly, I mean, at these levels, if, if our base case scenario, which is that we're in a slowing but not stopping environment and that corporate earnings are still going to look maybe mid-single digit growth this year, I think we're in a constructive area for stocks right now. Okay, so you're pretty bullish for 2019, despite the headwinds. Real quick on the Fed, that could be something that can mm -hmm. be kind of a, another volatile story for the year. Do we hike? Do we stay? Do we cut? It's kind of anybody's guess right now, Jeremy. Yeah, I mean, really, it is anybody's guess right now. We are we follow what they communicate to us, and they, you know they've they've brought it back, they've softened it a little bit um, with regard to their stance. So we're we're kind of going off of them. But yeah, I mean, for how the rest of the year plays out, it is anyone's guess at this All right. point. Well. Get ready for another crazy year. Jeremy, thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.